Well, despite last week's loss to Penn State, the Hawkeyes' hopes of a Big Ten West title were still alive coming into this afternoon's matchup with Purdue, but Iowa badly needing a win over the Boilermakers to stay in contention. This one went down to the wire. Another close game for Iowa. Here come the Hawkeyes taking the field in West Lafayette, down 7-0 in the first. How about a 12-play 90-yard drive capped off here by Ivory Kelly Martin. That would square the game up at 7. Then just before the half, they're down 21-10 at this point. Big touchdown by Nate Stanley getting the QB sneak here, and they would cut the deficit to 21-17 at the break. Moving on to the second half now, Purdue taking a 28-17 lead after an early touchdown. Nate Stanley to TJ Hawkinson. They answer quickly. That's good for six. Iowa wouldn't get the two-point conversion, though, so it's 28-23, and you're going to run and remember that for later. Boilermakers now doing more damage through the air. David Blau to Terry Wright. Blau with four touchdown passes today. That puts Purdue back up by double digits. Still 35-23, Boilermakers in the fourth. Makai Star Sargent cutting into the lead here. Short touchdown run makes it 35-30, Purdue. Then an Amani Hooker interception gives Iowa the ball back, and they cash in. It's Sargent once again, another one-yard score. Now Iowa ahead. 36-35, they try the two-pointer again and don't get it, so a one-point lead. Then this happens, fourth down conversion with under three minutes to go. David Blau setting up the game-winning field goal from Spencer Evans, and that would do it. Purdue wins by two points, 38-36. to Here's Adam Rosso with more. When you look back on this Iowa football season, you'll lament the few missed opportunities that kept it from being special. It was another one here on Saturday at Purdue. The Hawks leading by one late, only to see the Boilers drive for a game-winning field goal with under 10 seconds remaining. You know, it's just not, not finishing the fight, not playing the full 60, and uh, it, it's not for lack of effort. It's not for lack of caring or lack of preparation throughout the week. It's just, you know, getting outplayed, not making those critical plays. You know, we still got three ball games left. You know, we got to find a way to win at home next week. That's uh, first and foremost. And, you know, if uh, we just continue to, to play good football and, and uh, tighten some things up, you know, win games, that's that's what it's all about, and that's our goal. I mean, I don't think it questions anything that we, we've done. I think we've got to keep pushing, for, keep pushing forward and keep working harder. I understand that we are this close. Even though we didn't have the best game that we ever played all season, we were still in the game and had a chance at the end. So now we've got to put in extra work and just finish the game off. Nate Stanley was asked after the game if this team just lacked the ability to be clutch. He shot back saying no, and he actually had plenty of confidence going forward into the final three games of the season. I don't know if anybody outside that locker room agrees with the quarterback. Reporting from West Lafayette, Adam Rosso for Hawkeye Headquarters.